welcome back for day 12 of capital letters. Today we're going to learn capital N, capital M, and capital U. So an N in print looks like this. The N in cursive is just a little bit different. Now yesterday when we made our H, X, and W, we learned that you start just a little bit below the top line with those letters. And you do the same thing with this capital N. So just a little bit below the top line and you're gonna make that candy cane again. Just like we did when we made the capital H. But you're gonna trace that back up and you're gonna come almost to the top line, but not quite. Just barely stay away from it there. Then make the heel of your N and come out with a tail. And that's what the capital N looks like. So you make that cane, trace that back up almost to the top, but not quite, then come down and put on the tail. So see how that's not quite touching the top. Now what you don't want to do for your N, and I see a lot of uh, kids do this, they make this part okay, and then they come up and they curve in too much like this. See how that, you want this to stay kind of straight right here. You don't want it to curve in right there. Then you run the risk of that starting to kind of look like a lowercase k or even a capital R. So you want to be careful to not do that. So don't curve in right there. You just have your cane, trace it back up almost to the top, come down, and the tail. And that's a capital N. When you're ready, you can pause this video and make a line of capital N. Then you can go back and find your very best one and circle it. Okay, now we're ready for capital M. Capital M starts out the same way as the capital N. It's just going to have two heels where the capital N has one. So you're still gonna have that, that motion where you start right below the top line. You make that cane, just like you did for the end. You're gonna trace that up and you're gonna put on the first heel. Now look, this first heel almost touched the top just like with the end. Now here's where it gets a little strange. You're gonna trace this back up, but not quite as tall as that one. It's gonna be just a tiny bit shorter then it comes down with the tail. Now notice how both of these heels are up above the dotted line. They're just, this one is just a tiny bit shorter. I don't know why. Okay, so there's your capital M. Okay, when you're ready, you can pause the video and make a line of capital M. Just be really careful that you don't get that second heel too low. Okay, then go back and circle which one you like the best. Okay, now we're ready for capital U. Capital U starts out the same way as our M and our N. Just a tiny bit below that top line. You start out with that same motion, but when you start to come down, you're going to have to curve around this way because you're going to make the bottom of that U right there. So you're going to go all the way up, touch the top, but then you've got to trace that side back down and put on the tail. So it looks very similar to a print U. So you have the cane shape, then you curve, come up to the top, touch, trace that back down, and put on the tail. When you're ready, you can pause this video and make a line of capital U, and then circle the one that you like the best. Okay, let's practice a few words with our capital letters. Um, with the letter N, we're going to write a state, the state of Nevada. 
So you're going to make your capital N, your E, V. Now remember our V has this handle right here. So our A coming next is going to be a little different. You're going to make that curve. Then you're going to force yourself to come back. Then you go into your D. A, Nevada. When you're ready, you can pause this video and practice writing the word Nevada. Okay, now we'll practice something with M. We have somebody in our class named Millie, so we can write her name. So, Millie, here's how you write your name in cursive. I think you already know how to do it, though. You're going to start a little bit below that top line. Trace that back up and make your M. Then the tail of your M is going to become your I. Then you have two L's, an I, and an E. Then when you're finished, you pick up your pencil and dot both of your I's. Millie. Okay, when you're ready, you can pause the video and practice writing Millie. Okay, with our capital U, we're going to write another state name. We're going to write the state name of Utah. Okay, so we're going to make a capital U. That's going to go right into our T. And then our A. And then our H. Then we pick up our pencil and cross our T, U-T-A-H. Okay, you can pause this video and practice writing the word Utah. Okay, tomorrow for day 13, we'll be learning our K, our V, and our Y.